Hello everyone, welcome to another Great Ones show and continuing the ones from the Evro 1938. Well, we're going up the cross table and, well, number two, we will get to talk about Botvinnik after, obviously, world champion. But Ruben Fine finished second in, shared second in the tournament and an amazing story. Once again, I have to tell you, I learned so much preparing for today's show. And wow, I mean, I, I'm pretty certain that this World War II, okay, well, you know, we will consider it only from the chess part, really change chess history a bit. Because somehow I do feel that there would have been another world champion between 1938 that super important tournament for chess history to, well, until Alekhine died, 1946, or when Botvinnik won. And I really do feel that, amazingly enough, Ruben Fine could have been another world champion. You know, he could have been another big name in that list. Uh, you know, in American chess, okay, we have Fischer, Morphy, those, I would say, the big ones. And then maybe three other players are Reshevsky, which we mentioned a bit, Marshall, that played the World Championship, okay, not very successful, um, against, you know, Lasker, played a match against Capablanca, also not successful, and definitely Ruben Fine, that the difference, he had a very, very short chess career. He was born in 1914, and already in the very early 30s, when he was really young, 16, 17, 18, he was like, started to become a big star internationally. Actually, he started from winning a master tournament in 1930 in New York. He was born in New York. But very soon after it became a big, big, big player worldwide. He won all US Open chess championships that he played. Seven of them. He played seven times. He won each one. But those were the open ones. Actually, in the close championship, what we call US championship, he never won it. And that was actually one of the reasons that he claimed that he uh, quit chess. He was actually a very famous uh, psychologist. He wrote some important book in psychology. Speaking about books, he wrote some of the uh, most known uh, chess books, including uh, endgame books about chess. Uh, uh, he started writing Modern chess opening. He wrote the the end game one was basic chess ending, which is considered an absolute masterpiece for many 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 years after that. But back to his chess, he played, I believe, four U.S. Uh, championship. He scored quite well there, and one of them he finished with fourteen and a half out of seventeen, which is absolute amazing score. Fourteen and a half out of seventeen. But that was actually the one tournament that Denker finished with an absolutely astonishing score, 15 and a half out of 17, and took the first spot. So, uh, unbelievable score. He, he, he won five, gold, five medals in the Olympiad, including three team gold, uh, three gold medals, and one individual for board three, the silver one, and then that was in 1933, and in 1937, the gold one for board two. And I'm not mistaken, U.S. was absolute a superpower chess house in the 30s, winning, okay, the Russians didn't play, or Soviet Union is more correct, but internationally, from 1936, it was maybe the world best player, or if not, then definitely... Uh, at that level, he won some very big tournaments and finished top in many top tournaments, uh, including the Nottingham in 